Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the GWE100. It's the Tier 10 German SPG, and we're located on the south spawn of Live Oaks. And it's under the command of Cremage72. Now, this is another instance of RT team killing, or an RT being team killed uh, by other members of his team. And I'm just going to start the replay and you will see the IS-7 of Silas007 and he's going to team kill Silas, uh, team kill Cremage you see he's moving off to his firing position it's done nothing to harm Silas at all Silas001 and he's just wiped out he's just wiped out Cremage for absolutely no reason whatsoever Now, even other members of the team are wondering what the hell's happened. And uh, um, the AMX CDC has asked for the IS-7 to be reported. Others have said agreed. They've just taken away one of their fire support. And the GWE-100 of Cremage says he's reporting the IS-7 or report team kill. And the others are saying they've done so. But he's just ruined the battle because now without Arty. They are at a disadvantage, and it's more than likely that they will lose this battle. And so I should think the other players are really fed up with this. The CDC asks why. And the 50TP says RT bad. And the CDC says it's part of this game, which is totally true. In fact, it's an essential part of the game. And the revelry says, says ban RT. Well, obviously, he doesn't understand why or how the game operates as well. And there are already two tanks down. And I suspect that they will find it very, very difficult to win this battle now. Their own RT, the M55, uh, their remaining RT, is still firing as much as he can at the enemy. But of course, now that they've lost one of their biggest pieces of firepower, the GWE-100, I really doubt that they're going to be able to survive. They're now three tanks down on the battle. They've actually managed to score a kill, but uh, how long that remains, I do not know. Now they're four tanks down. Uh, they've managed to claw back another one. Now they're four tanks down again. It just goes to show the lack of fire support. All of a sudden you see a huge difference in the scores. Not just the one tank that they lost. Now they're five tanks down. But it's the fact that the RT actually supports them. It enables them to defeat the enemy, to stop the enemy making grounds. And without that RT, and the enemy having two RTs to support them, means obviously they're much more likely to win. Now there's six tanks down. So it's all thanks to the IS-7. They are now going to lose this battle because somebody was stupid enough to kill the RT at the start. And you can see their, their enemy tanks are now close to the cap area. They're coming in from the north. They've won the town. They're winning the railway line. And here comes the enemy uh, light tank. He's after killing the RT. Of course, the RT's relocated. He's over there now. He's had to move because there's a 1390 on the way trying to find him and kill him. There are four tanks down. Well, at least they've managed to claw one back. They killed the 1390. And the Arty's doing his best, but 
he's in a dangerous situation. He's being bunched up into a specific area of the map. And of course, enemy RT will now be aware of where he is. And they're now starting to move into the cap area. They're now six tanks down. There's only a few of them left. Three tanks left on their team. They are now capping. And basically it's hopeless now. There's virtually no chance that they're going to survive. Two tanks down. The one on the railway line has gone. That means it's just the Wizzy 132 and the M53 M55. And in fact they've decided not to cap at all now. They're just going to go in and kill the remaining enemy. And there goes the last arty. And the Wizzy 132 won't be far behind him. He's trying to fight a 705. But of course a heavy against the light tank. It's not really going to work. And here we switch to the Wizzy 132, who's been bullied by the 705, and he's been killed. And that's it, battle over. And it was lost all because of the IS-7 of Silas, Silas 001. Right at the start, in his in his um, IS-7, wiping out Kremash 72. Now, if we look at the team score, we can see that... Uh, Although their highest scorer was Silas001, and he actually ended up with a Fire for Effect, Bruiser and Duelist, um, 4,651 hit points of damage and only one kill, uh, the enemy's highest scorer was their Centurion Action 10. He managed 5,727 hit points of damage, picked up the high caliber, managed to get two kills. But uh, what's more important is that uh, only... Three members of um, Cream Match's team actually managed to get kills during that battle. Or was it four, three? No, sorry, I beg your pardon. It was uh, four members of their team actually managed to get kills. Silas 001, of course, who actually killed Cream Match. Uh, then the M46 Patton, uh, the IS-3, and the Wizzy 132. Everyone else was at a disadvantage right from the start. And, of course, they stood no chance against the team which had all of their RT support and nobody had team killed them. So uh, let's have a look at the um, detailed report. And, of course, Cream March was denied any chance to fire on the enemy. Uh, he did receive 5,739 credits for the battle, was compensated for the damage, team damage. Um, and after uh, costs of repair, which are considerable, all he walked away with was the 5,739 he got for taking part. Uh, but of course, it was a completely wasted battle and it ruins his statistics purely for the fact that Silas001 has um, uh, desired to break the rules of Wargaming's rules and team kill. And team kill specifically the RT for no valid reason whatsoever. And come on, Wargaming, you've got to do something about this. People who team kill RT because they are RT is discrimination against RT players by those other players. So you need to ban these people or at least tell them that if they do this, that they will receive some substantial fine uh, from Wargaming for uh, doing this or that they would have to pay all compensation, preferably all the credits they've accumulated and all the gold they currently hold, to transfer that over to the person they've team killed. I'm sure that if you threaten to do this to the actual players that team kill and transfer all of their gold and all of their credits, they wouldn't team kill ever again because they'd realize they would be making rich any arty that they team kill. They would be effectively sponsoring arty by doing what they're doing. So uh, that's the best way to deal with this. To um, Whenever these replays are handed in to you, you immediately transfer all the gold, all the credits from this player and pass them over to the victim. And that's the only way to get rid of uh, team killing forever. So come on Wargaming, it's up to you. Transfer all the credits that belong to Silas001 and his gold and pass it over to Cremage72 in the GWE100 so he has adequate compensation to stop team killing. Thank you.